We've all been there. While playing or creating a melody or solo, we are confronted with the same sound and lack of distinct character in the thing we're playing. Now you don't want to stray too far away from the mainstream rock and pop sound and still you want to come up with something special to surprise yourself and your audience. Now even if it is your own deaf grandmother. Now this is the perfect moment for a so-called superimposition of skills and arpeggios. In other words, it's time to exchange your dust coat for the golden glitter jacket and become the guitar hero that you always wanted to be. Now by layering sounds, a brand new sound is created and there it is. Color and tension in the most comfortable way you can imagine. It's easy, powerful and a must know for all improvising guitarists in the house. In this tutorial we're going to look at how you can superimpose arpeggios over chords and vamps to spice things up and let it cook in your kitchen again. Now the word superimposing means nothing more than layering two straightforward concepts on top of each other resulting in a sophisticated outcome. Like one simple picture over the other to create an artistic result. Now in music the superimpositions would consist of two sounds which could be seen as something like overdubbing. In general, a musical superimposition refers to layering scales and arpeggios over the sound of a particular chord, like an E minor scale over a C major chord, for instance. Now you can hear that the sound has something special and adds color and sometimes tension. Or you could layer two types of chords on top of each other to create an harmonic superimposition, like the sound of the B minor chord over the sound of the G major chord. Again, the sound is very rich and different from that plain G major chord. Now there are a lot of possibilities, but in this tutorial we're going to explore how to use arpeggios to enrich your sound when improvising or creating melodies and soundscapes. Now, to understand what you are doing, it would be an advantage when you have some knowledge of the construction of chords. This is not so hard to learn and I have provided different tutorials about this subject, from easy to advanced, on the QGentrax channel. Now, just check the QGentrax channel to find, out, uh, to find the right one for you. Now, let's take the D-flat major key with five flats. Nah, I'm just kidding. Let's use the G major key that looks like this. The G chord consists of the root G, the major 3rd B and the 5th D. Now you could play the G major arpeggio or the G major scale to create a melody or solo. And although it will sound decent, it will also sound rather predictable. obvious solutions, we could play notes from another chord than the G major chord to create a layered sound of two different chords that have a connection, for instance, by, uh, by common notes. Now the sound that is created is a more sophisticated, richer and more interesting sound. Both simple triads will keep their initial meaning, but the result is a new refreshing product. So let's get on with it and see what possibilities we have by superimposing easy and commonly used arpeggios over certain types of chords. Now in this lesson we are going to explore a few possibilities that are easy to understand and to implement in any song or solo you're playing. The arpeggios we're going to use are the major and major 7 arpeggio over a minor chord, the minor and minor 7 arpeggio over a major chord, the major and major 7 arpeggio over another major chord, and the minor and minor 7 arpeggio over another minor chord. While exploring these, uh, these arpeggios, you'll find yourself playing a major arpeggio over the minor chord and the other way around. Well, it sounds weird maybe at first, but along the way you will understand the principle and applications. We will begin with the major triad arpeggios over the minor chords. Now the A minor scale looks like this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G and back to A. The tonic is the A minor chord that consists of the root A, the minor 3rd C and the perfect 5th E. Now the 
most obvious things to play over this A minor chord would be the A minor scale. The A minor pentatonic scale. And the A minor arpeggio. Now if you look at the chords in this scale, we'll notice that the C major chord on the third degree has two notes in common with the A minor chord, the notes C and E. Therefore we can use the C major chord to superimpose over the A minor chord. Now in this mix of notes, the note A is still the lowest note and the root of the A minor chord. And by this, the notes of the C major chord get a different harmonic function. Now the root C becomes the minor third of the A minor chord. The major third E becomes the perfect fifth of the A minor chord. And the perfect fifth G becomes the minor seventh in the A minor chord. And it is this last note, the note G, that is the new color tone that is created by superimposing the C major arpeggio over the A minor chord. Now here's the C major arpeggio over the A minor chord. If we add the major 7th degree to the C major chord, we'll add another color tone in our palette. The major 7th of the C major 7th chord is the 9th in the A minor chord. So superimposing a C major 7th chord over an A minor or A minor 7th chord results in a minor 9th sound. You can see the potential of this rather simple technique. Now, the first rule is you can play a major or major 7 arpeggio of the third degree over a minor chord. Now, just like superimposing major arpeggios over minor chords, we can turn things around and play a minor arpeggio over a major chord. I bet you didn't see that coming, did you? Now, look at this C major scale, for instance, where the tonic is a C major chord with the root C, the major third E, and the fifth G. As you can see, the E minor chord on the third degree has two notes in common, common with the C major chord, the notes E and G. This makes that the E minor chord is a perfect candidate for superimposing over a C major chord. The sum of these chords will create a unique and beautiful sound that transcends the simple C major chord and the E minor chord. While C is still the root of this sum of chords, the notes of the E minor chord get a different harmonic function. The root E becomes the minor third of the C major chord. The major third G becomes the fifth of the C major chord. B becomes the major 7th of that C major chord. And that last note, B, results in a colorful addition and makes the E minor arpeggio stand out in your improvisation. You can also try an E minor 7 chord in order to add two color tones. The minor 7th of the E minor 7 chord, the note D, becomes a beautiful 9th uh, over the C uh, major chord. Now you're cooking! So here's rule number 2. Over a major or major 7 chord, you can play the minor or minor 7 arpeggio of the 3rd degree. Now take a look at this A minor scale with the A minor chord as the tonic. With the root A, the minor 3rd C and the perfect 5th E. Now on the 5th degree of the A minor scale, we'll find the E minor chord, which has only one note in common with the A minor chord, the note E. Now when superimposing the E minor chord over an A minor chord, the notes of the E minor chord get a different meaning. The E becomes a perfect fifth in the A minor chord. And 
the minor third G becomes the minor seventh in the A minor chord. And the fifth B becomes the ninth in the A minor chord. So playing the E minor arpeggio over an A minor chord results in an A minor 9 arpeggio. If we take this a step further and add the minor 7th to the E minor arpeggio, we have created yet another, another colorful addition to the already cool sounding superimposition. Now the minor 7th in the E minor 7 chord becomes the 11th interval over an A minor chord. And this results in a beautiful A minor 11 chord like this. So the third rule is play the minor or minor 7 arpeggio of the 5th degree over a minor or minor 7 chord. This last superimposition is playing a particular major arpeggio over a major chord. Now check the C major scale. The tonic of this scale is a C major chord, built from the root C, the major 3rd E and the perfect 5th G. On the 5th degree of this C major scale, we'll find a major chord that has one note in common with the tonic C major, and that's the note G. This is enough to make a superimposition and extend the C major chord. Now, if we do so, the notes of the G major chord get a different harmonic function, because the root is still the note C. Now, the root G becomes the fifth in the C major chord, and the third B becomes the major seventh in the C major chord, and the fifth D becomes the ninth in the C major chord. So the G major arpeggio superimposed over a C major chord results in a beautiful C major 9 chord. Now take this one step further and play G major 7 arpeggio instead of the G major arpeggio, we'll add another color tone in the form of the note F sharp. And this F sharp is the major 7th in the G major 7 chord and becomes the sharp 11 interval in the C major chord. And this results in a C major 7 sharp 11 chord, which is a typical tonic of the Lydian mode. If you're not familiar with modes, I would like to suggest you get acquainted with this because it is such a great asset to raise your music to a whole new level. Now I made several tutorials about modal playing, which are very easy to understand. And you'll find links in the description. So the fourth rule of this tutorial is play the major or major 7 arpeggio of the 5th degree over a major chord. Superimpositions are powerful means to create sophisticated results with two straightforward concepts. Two simple triads can result in a beautiful extended sound as we have learned in this lesson. A superimposition can be constructed from chords, scales and arpeggios. Now here in this video we uh, use just two types of arpeggios, the major and the minor arpeggio, but there are more possibilities of course. I made a tutorial about superimposing pentatonic scales for instance, and in that lesson you can see how these simple scales can result in advanced modal playing. So this lesson could be a starting point to study this subject more in depth. Now, I do hope this lesson has given you insight into the basics of superimposing arpeggios and it will help you to create interesting and beautiful music. Now it would be an honor to see you next time in a new crystal clear QGentrex guitar tutorial. Now, greet from the Netherlands and bye.